Bienvenuto a Roma! I'm on a lunch break from my recording, which is happening just over there at the Auditorium di Santa Cecilia in the middle of Rome. And so we've come for a panorama of La Città di Roma, Piazza Venezia, the Colosseo, the Vatican is over there, which we can't see. But it's great to come up out of the crowd, have a bit of fresh air, relax, feel the pulse of Italy a bit more. I'm having a great time. This is my um, second solo disc for the EMI Virgin label. It was a very obvious choice for me to make the second one all Rossini because he really has been my, my go-to composer. He's been the composer that I keep coming back to and that certainly was my entrance into a lot of the major theaters of the world. And so I have a, a, an immense amount of gratitude for the pieces that he wrote that I've been able to bring to life in my own little way on the stage. And so I have a real um, affinity for him. Joyce is a, a, a complete artist, it's not just a singer. She possesses a great voice, a great technique, but especially she is a great artist. And every note, every phrase she sings has a meaning behind it, there is a why. And especially she has a great personality, but she realizes that music must be done in two. Music is a kind of exchange of emotions, of ideas. And we worked hard for preparing this recital, and I think we are doing a good job, and we both are very happy of uh, this. terribly difficult and terribly demanding and not every voice is built for it. Not every voice is built to have agility. They do other things very well um, that my voice is not built to do. But I do think you have to have a certain um, Italianate approach to it, um, to the language and to the phrasing. And you also have, a, have, to, have to have a voice that is um, supple and agile. But as you'll hear on this disc, there's a number of pieces that are very cantabile and, and long and legato phrases. And you have to be able to pull that out of the hat as well, because those are the phrases that should make you cry and make you weep, where the other ones should make you just dance with joy or shudder with fear, in the case of Armida, I think. <laughs> Oh, 
One of the joys about being here in Rome is that we're recording with the orchestra of Santa Cecilia and as one of the wood players told me yesterday, the woodwind players, he said that they really have this music in their DNA. And I think it's true. We don't have a lot of rehearsal time and we don't have a lot of preparation time so it's important that we all come together at the very start and make strong, passionate, stylistically effervescent music. And with his orchestra, it's really possible because they know the style and it's in them and I think they really enjoy playing it. <coughs> with Eduardo Müller, you have somebody who's been around singers his whole life. Bel canto is in his veins and his soul and his heart. And this is a bel canto disc. It's all about the voice and it's about the, the phrasing and the conveying of emotion through all these fast notes and it takes somebody who really understands that to bring it to life. And at the end, what I hope that we have is an incredibly dynamic range of pathos and fire and joy and triumph and all these emotions that, that really speak to me. And I, I think it's a bit of a surprise to people that aren't necessarily the conoscenti of Rossini, people that um, dismiss him offhandedly. I think they're gonna find a lot of surprises here. Oh, baby, 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 oh, baby,